video is just exploding for us, especially our original content. Uh, we have 26 shows in production right now. We have nine of the top 10 original programs online. And our viewers each month are, are uh, you know, rival that of Hulu. So um, we have the number one finance program online, which, you know, the audience rivals that of CNBC, the number one sports show, the number one live show. Um, you know, things are just really exciting right now. We just launched a new show called Trending Now, which is kind of a new version of the newscast. We really wanted to create a newscast for specifically an online audience. And now, here's what's trending. Donald Trump has responded to criticism from fellow New Yorkers, especially Daily Show host Jon Stewart, for what some have dubbed Pizzagate 2011. On Tuesday, The Apprentice star used a fork and knife to eat pizza during his public dinner with Sarah Palin. So we combine the headlines of the day with really what we know about what people are searching for, what they want to know. It's called sort of the news you need to know. And that's been hugely successful, um, taking the insights that we have and the data we have about what our audience is searching for and translating that into a program. And the, the numbers have been through the roof on that program. So huge audience interest in it. And we, we recently also launched a show called Breakout, uh, which fits really well with the Yahoo Finance demographic, the, the investors who come to check their stick, ticker symbols every day and, and are involved in um, heavily involved in finance, breakout really appeals to a you know a strictly you know an investment and an audience that's interested in investing. Steve Jobs made a rare presentation at the Worldwide Developers Conference yesterday. Anytime Mr. Jobs emerges on the scene to talk Apple, well, it's news. And anytime there's tech news, we've talked to Henry Blunt. He's here to explain exactly what he said, what they meant, and whether or not we should buy Apple stock right this second. Jeff Mackey and Matt Nesto host that program, formerly of CNBC, and um, that's been a great one for us, too. A lot of our shows are um, sponsored by major companies and brands, so we've you know, had tremendous success in meeting audience need and also finding shows that are compelling for a brand um, or an advertiser to be associated with. So a lot of them have uh, individual sponsors and then some of them, uh, you know, we do run of network ads as well around those. Video consumption is just a huge area of growth for, for not all, for the whole internet, but for us especially. So we're going to be uh, experimenting with a lot of things going forward. We're going to be launching uh, several new shows, a pretty dramatic expansion of our shows that we produce and also license. Uh, we're going to be sampling with um, some scripted programming, so that's going to be a new, a new thing for us. And you know, really focusing on coverage um, in the video area and in the text area around tent poles and anchors, um, big events that we know the audience comes to Yahoo to, to, to find out about. So uh, we're really excited about the, the growth that we see ahead. So the scripted events, uh, you guys are going to develop things in-house or with production companies? or A little bit of both. We have Yahoo Studios, which is you know, our in-house production company and produces the 20, you know, many of the 26 shows that we have up now. And then we also work with you know, state-of-the-art state -of -art production companies, um, Revly, Electus, uh, many others, to, to come up with a lot of great programming for our audience. And what about uh, you know tablets and mobile and and how's that going? And particularly in terms of you know live programming. Well, it's a huge. I mean, it's a huge area we're looking at. Obviously, we're not just talking about you know an online audience anymore. We're really talking about a you know multi-screen strategy where you're looking at mobile and tablet and television and connected TVs and online. So we're thinking more and more in that direction. You know, really thinking tablet first in a lot of ways, uh, especially when it comes to video because it's such a natural platform for video consumption. So um, that's a huge factor for us as we move forward. When you say tablet first, how do you mean? Thinking about how people are consuming content on, on the tablet, you know, just as much as they are online. Obviously, we have a huge online audience, and, and you know, that's kind of our, our primary focus. But tablet is just, is just a perfect medium to watch video programs. So already, a lot of our programs are on the tablet, and we'll be continuing to expand in that direction. Primarily, our users are, are finding our content through Yahoo, um, but we absolutely syndication is an important strategy. We've syndicated many of our shows through social media, uh, through Facebook. We've talked about the importance of inline streaming on Facebook uh, before, you know, distributing them through Twitter, and we're going to be looking to expand, uh, you know, and, and really syndicate our programs um, globally and across the across the internet. And one last thing, uh, you know, you've been you, you know a little bit about television production. What are the you know, the ingredients for success. What works? What do you find works? Well, I think really listening to your audience and really knowing kind of who you're tailoring to. I think a lot of people try and put TV online and, and, and that's really not what we're doing. We're really creating content that's specifically for an online audience that responds to the insights that we have about our audience. So I think really thinking about, you know, who you're, who you're, who you're going for and, and how you're reaching them and thinking about how that content can play in many different areas, whether it be you know, on tablet or on TV or anywhere else. So 
we've kind of built a, a reputation on, on creating programming that, that our audience likes and comes back for over and over. So, um, you know, we've, we've got a formula. And I think another part is really experimenting with, with new formats and venues. So we're always trying to push the envelope and be innovative as we move forward into a new area um, and, a, and a really a new world of how people are consuming media. So we'll be looking closely and, and really trying some things and experimenting so we can, you know, continue to bring our audiences excellent content.